if you are more advanced, this is a full body workout. I'll give you the um, I'll give you the position for the more advanced movement, but I'm going to be doing the beginner movement so that all the people that are beginners that really want to do this don't have to feel uncomfortable like it's going to be too hard for them, okay? So we're going to make you feel comfortable. Everyone has to know themselves well enough to limit their movement if there's any uh, any kind of uh, sharp kind of pain, but nice, nice achy stretches are good. Okay, let's find our tall. Ooh, how tall can you get today? Remember like you're measuring height with your little brother, comparing height? Oh, I want to win. All right, let's make that spine tall. Take a big breath in, fill up your chest cavity into the back, navel to the spine. Exhale, bring your nose down, peel forward, feel yourself, dissemble your spine. Breathe again, fill up your back with air. Let's continue down nice and slow as you feel your spine. What's happening in the back? I know that there are some little imbalances for all of us. So we're literally correcting and aligning ourselves as we do this one. And when you get to the point that at which you're hanging forward completely, allow your head to become as heavy, as I say, like a wrecking ball on a chain. Breathe again. Pull your navel up, releasing through the back, releasing through the back of the legs, and breathe again. Exhale, lift your tail just a little more. Straighten your legs. Feel the achiness in the back of the legs. Don't look up. Just listen. Stay and breathe. This time on your exhale, let your shoulders fall forward. Let your arms as, are as heavy as a gorilla here. This is your morning exercise, standing spine roll. Everyone should do this as soon as they are ready. Coming up is just as important as going down. We breathe first. We concave the belly, then we push into the sacrum, followed by vertebra one, two, three, which is the sacrum is vertebra one, but we're going to push through one at a time, stacking them. Let your head hang. Go slow here. Don't lift your chin. Stay focused. Breathe as you're going. Don't hold your breath. All right, we're going to get to the point at which we're stacked up again, bringing your chin up last. And take ourselves to the mat for a nice shell stretch. Really feeling this body, ready to go. Inhale, exhale down, lengthen, stay. Grow through the crown of the head. So for you true beginners, we wanna make sure and give ourselves a nice stretch in the back, either standing spine roll or shell stretch or um, spine stretch forward, something to really release your back before you begin. Come forward onto the tummy, stretch through your feet, turn out at the knees, and grow the arms forward. Point the nose down. Here's another alignment movement. Stretch and stay as if there's someone pulling your wrists and ankles here. Another breath. Exhale, stay. Now focus as you lift your right hand and left leg. Slow switch, inhale, switch, feel your legs activate, exhale, switch, inhale, power lift at the hip and shoulder, switch, you're doing good, inhale, exhale, switch, inhale, switch, exhale, switch, three more, switch, switch, breathe, switch, looking straight down at the mat, switch, Switch, rest yourself down. All right, we're gonna take yourself on your forearms. Push the shoulders down, lengthen through the crown of the head. Bend your knees here. We're gonna stretch the front of the hip flexor and the uh, quads for point flex, point toe, heel, toe. Pulling it down. And inhale, heel, toe. Exhale, point, flex, point. Exhale, tummy in, long neck, toes, Heels, toes, great, feeling it. Three more, point, flex, point, exhale down. Inhale, point, flex, point, exhale, tummy in. One more, toes, heels, toes, exhale down. Getting warmed up, let's push your palms into your mat. Come back up and stretch your back again. Warm up and stretch. We've got to make sure our muscles are relaxed and long and warm so we can really work well. Here we take a big breath and fill up our back with air. Exhale, stay. Tuck the chin and roll up. 
Now roll all the way up after you've lifted the chin into kneeling. So Vijaya, after you get to seated, you're going to get up and face me on the knees. So on your knees, it's the same posture as standing, tail down, lift through the chest, shoulders back, lift through the ears. Good. All right. Now we're going to work into these obliques. Let's take your right leg, pull it out, and point that foot forward. Now you're going to feel a nice stretch here too. So the way we're going to do it here in beginner is arms are out, press shoulders down, and we're going to tip. Okay? Now if you'd like to do the advanced movement, take your arms up and do it. So we're going to go here for the advanced people, really reaching the arms up. This is called a candle. Isn't it pretty? So we're going to do it like this. Go as deep as you can. All right, so I'm doing the beginner one with you today. Here we go. Lean, exhale, tall. Inhale, lean, exhale, head up, chest forward, tall. Good, reach. And slow, controlled, pushing weight, stretching the adductor, abductor muscles inside that other leg. We're going to do three more for eight. Pull, exhale, lift. You can touch the mat if you want. Touch, exhale, lift, shoulders down. And one, exhale, lift. Now stay right here and lie down on your side. We're going to do our next one. The beginners, keep your knee up here when we come up to stretch. Advanced, you're going to go with the long straight legs. We're going to take the forearm today. Okay, so we're going to have our knee bent. Now lift yourself up and hold here. What you're trying to do is strive for more weight here by pushing into your foot. Just use this leg for as much leverage as you need to feel comfortable. So you decide, okay? Now we're going to hold this plank here. Put your hand on your chest and bring that shoulder forward and back about six times. Breathing with each one. So you're moving through the shoulder girdle on the bottom. You're pushing weight into the obliques. Ooh, feeling that. Let's do three. Slow, controlled, strengthening. Three more. And back. Stay with your breath. Feel your body right now, 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 in this moment, okay? Don't go ahead of yourself. And stay with it. Right up, place your hip down. All right, so it needs a little break now, so let's sit up sideways in our sort of a mermaid. Take the outside arm. Lift it, reach the arm up, pull it, and just stretch over here one time. So we're not here, we're not all pretty and delicate. We're really reaching and we're stretching and we're staying lifted in the chest. Very good, Constance. You okay? A little tight on that side. All right, we gotta let our bodies heal if we have a little uh, injury of some sort. And down we go. Now we're gonna go up to the next one. Same thing, the beginners are going to take the knee forward with me, advance, stretch both legs out. Using your hand to help you, we're going to just lift up here, okay, we're going to feel that. Then we're going to lift the hip and bring it down. Just continue, flow with this movement. So you're trying to use more of this foot to, to uh, leverage yourself, not so much this knee. So the beginners are going to gauge themselves as to how much help they need with that bottom leg. And then when it gets easy, go ahead and straight your leg out and then you're going to get the most out of the movement. That's the key in Pilates. You want to make work and wait for yourself. We're going to do one more here. Feeling it, I know. And come on down and take that arm up again. We're going to stretch. Make sure you've got that tall lifted chest. Breathe in. Breathe out. Length and reach. Up to the sky. Pull. Another breath. And down it goes. All right, let's come to the knees. And we're going to just take the other side the same way. Get into the feeling inside the body. Stay with your body in the moment. Okay? Straight leg out, everyone. Beginners are here. Tummy in and up. Advanced are here. Okay? All right, let's go. And way down. And pull up. Lock your belly in. Slow, controlled movement. Carrying it up. Very good. So we're going to exhale right here. As you're initiating the up. Don't hold your breath and wait till you get to the top. And when you find yourself grunting, that means you're holding back your exhalation. So you want to just flow that breath for three more. Exhale up. 
and two. Exhale out. And one. Ooh, that felt so good. Even the beginner one was great. All right, now we're coming down on the mat. Advance, take both legs straight out. We can do one foot on top of the other or the top leg in front, okay? Beginners, bring your bottom leg forward. Coming on the forearm. Stay lateral, don't curl forward. Let's lift up, exhale, lift, okay? So you're feeling yourself up. Pick up the arm, touch your chest, and move through the shoulder. So, we're keeping our neck long. We're looking straight ahead, not, not turning the neck. We're staying lifted. We're pushing weight into the top straight leg more than the knee. So you're gonna decide what's gonna make you really begin to feel it down there and feel it in the shoulder. Just one more. Let's do one more for fun. And forward and up. Place it down. Good, all right, now we're ready to stretch that. Sitting up in mermaid position. Top arm lifts, breathe in, breathe out, pull the shoulder up and stay. So this other shoulder has to be parallel, it can't be turned behind you. For a nice oblique stretch, you're really aligning and changing the body. Let's bring that arm down, come back down on the forearm. Beginners have the bottom leg forward, advanced are here, okay? Now we're going to push into this leg mostly, exhale, come on up, all right? Now, we're going to put your hand wherever you want and lift your hip and bring it down. So we can put your hand behind the head. That's always good to keep the chest more open. And so push into the foot that's stretched way out. Good. Let's do four more. And three. Lifting it way up. And two. Great job, Cindy. And one. Come on down. Back up into mermaid for a nice stretch of that. Breathe in and stretch. Staying tall, literally changing and correcting your posture with your focus. And down you go. All right, from here, let's go on our back. Start working into the abs. Take your knees in to begin. Feel that release in your back as you just allow your body to be rested into the mat. Now straighten the legs way up. So this is a great way to stretch them. Inhale, hug yourself, nod your head, and curl up as tiny as you can. Now feel your belly pull down and your ribs pull down and your shoulders down. Good, stay here, breathe. Exhale, stay. Now if your knees are bent, that's okay. Straighten them as best you can. Breathe and stay. Hug yourself tighter. Good, so we wanna stretch those legs. Let's take your left leg straight down, all the way down. Pull your right knee in, place your head down now. Rest your neck. All right, so we're gonna stretch back here. Hold it. Now, we're gonna take the hands down to the hips. Relax your shoulders. Straighten the leg as best you can. Bent knees are fine. Lock your pelvis in place. Bring your leg to the left and stop. You're on base number one. Then down to base number two, base three, and then you're home. Okay, change direction. Three, third, second, first, home. Focus, inhale first, second. Stop with precision, lift and home. And third, and inhale down, first, home. Good, so focus, flatten the tummy, exhale as you lift and stop at the top. Third, second, first, Home, oops, don't move those hips. First, second, third, home. Feel it, hold it out to third. Stop at second, stop at first and home. You did great, pull your knee in, give yourself a nice groin stretch before we switch. All right, let's take both legs up again and hug yourself nice and tight. Pull your forehead to your thighs. Good, push your shoulders down. Don't look up at the feet. Now we're gonna lower that right leg. Woo! Lower your head, straight leg, and hug yourself. You can put your head down now, and you can hug your uh, leg forward so you can stretch in the, in the top of the back of the leg a little bit before we start. 
Good. All right, let's hold the hips. Straighten your leg as straight as you can. Mine's slightly bent. Here we are at home. Let's go to third base. Second. First. Ooh, careful. Home. Now first. So we stop with precision and control. Now third. Now second. Now first. Exhale here. And inhale first. Lower. Third exhale. Up. So third, and we're inhale down, exhale first, up. Again, first, second, third, up, third, second, first, up. One more, first, second, exhale, flat tummy, home. And third, last one, lower, first, and up. Great, now we're gonna pull that knee in, stretch. Yeah, feels good. All right. Now take both legs up, cross at the hips. Now if any, anyone wants to challenge himself, then you're going to do straight leg um, jackknife. But we're going to do hip ups because that's a very important movement to practice. If you can't do it, try. Just your body only remembers what you try. So let's do it. Exhale up, up, carry it down. Go Nancy. Exhale up, carry it down. I'm rooting for you. Number three, blow. Roll down. Get in control now. Four, roll down. One more. Five, roll down. All right, now we're gonna add the oblique part to that, the new part. We're gonna bring those legs up, twist right, then center, then roll it back down. Forward, up. Twist, right, center, roll down. Control, slow, breathe out. Forward, exhale, and left. Twist, center, roll down. Using your hands to help you. Two more sets. Forward, twist, right, center, roll down. Great movement. Exhale, forward, left, center, down. One more set. Forward. Right, center, roll as you resist. And one more side, left, center, roll as you resist down. Great job, you're gonna really feel that one tomorrow in your upper abs and side. Such a good movement. Okay, from here, you're in supine position. Remember, feet, knees, and hips are a fist width apart for women. Men are slightly wider. We're gonna upper ab curl two times. Take in your breath, exhale, curl. Finding this position is essential in Pilates. So keep your shoulder blades off the mat. Feel it, hold your tummy down. Now as you're rolling down, lengthen through the neck, lengthen, grow it, grow it, grow it, then place it down. One more, inhale, exhale up. Good, so you're really compressing the ribs, really getting the feel of this, because it's gonna help protect your neck. Roll down. All right, let's do the roll up. Ready, Vijaya? Hands over the head, breathe here. Arms forward. Ooh, good job. Big stretch here. Resist and come down. Challenge yourself by keeping your arms back. That's hard. Arms forward. Come on. Remember to initiate the movement with the breath. Don't wait till you're up there to breathe. Let's try it. Here. And if it's a little difficult to get up, go faster. Give it some oomph like this. Inhale. Here we go. <laughs> you made it, right? At least you made it. And you smooth it out over time. Let's do three more. Up, grab your thighs if you need to. Big reach. Got it? You with me? One more. Exhale. <sighs> Big reach. And roll down. Good. All right, let's take the knees into the chest. Now we're going to rock three times and come up into balance point. Nod your head. Lift up, look at your thighs, so you're making a tiny little ball. Pull shoulders down. One, two, exhale, up. Got it? Okay, now we're gonna work in the form. Shoulders down, long spine, meaning grow the C curve of the spine. Push your tummy down, and you're gonna keep your hands up under the knees, beginners. Try not to wobble. Okay, we go, and back. And roll up and balance. Take a moment, find your balance, then continue. Inhale back. 
Okay. And inhale back. Blow here. Let's do some more. Back. Everyone challenge themselves. Find your level and go a little further. If this is easy, grab your legs and make yourself tiny. Roll and roll. Do this one with the kids. Roll and roll. Let's do one more. Roll and roll. All right. Oh, that was good. Feeling really kind of uh, uh, massaged through the back a bit. Now we're going to try another oblique movement uh, that you haven't done before. Be careful, don't go too deep. Don't move into any pain. Sit tall. Ready to roll back into the C curve. Just lift your hands off yourself. Tuck the chin and go back down. Hold. So find your comfort zone. You should be able to talk. Okay, you should be able to breathe here. All right, we're going to simply twist to the left or pick a side. Reach your arm out. And we're going to come up and down here. And little pulses up and down. So the advanced way is to go deep, deep, deep. Okay, well we want to feel it. And then we want to lift on the exhale. Okay, so Constance, you're looking at your hand here. So you're turning and tucking. Keep in the tuck. Don't tip your chin back. You feel it in the obliques on the other side? Good. And one more. And go to center. Now sit up. Now, if you did it right, you feel something on that other side. Good. Let's try the other side. Now start tall. Breathe in. And then bend into your lumbar. Push into your mid-back, looking down between the thighs. And we're going to rotate to the right. Reach the hand out. And go back and up. Up. Inhale. Exhale up. Stay turned. Keep your chin down. Look toward the long away hand. And lift and lower. So if you're feeling uncomfortable, you're going too deep. You should be able to do this while you talk. Okay, let's do one more. Lower and lift. And great. Woo, all right, let's hit the side of the mat now. Work into the legs, putting your head in your hand. All right, we're gonna keep the hips stable, the shoulders stable. Remember, balance your cup of tea right here. Little circles with that top leg. Reach away, don't move. Everything's stable, stable, stable. That's what we're going for. Hold still, change direction. Watch your foot here. What's the picture that you're drawing with the tip of the toe? Feel your belly pull in. So you're really thinking in the moment with the body, not just making circles and getting it over with, right? Let's do five up and down, point, push and resist. Ooh, feel that leg change as you flex your foot. Lift, push and create resistance. So this is when you put on your imaginary ankle weight and push your heel across the room. And two more, feel it. We gotta get these ankles moving. Some of us don't wear heels ever. Some of us wear them too much, right? One more, lift, push. And let's kick forward two pulses, not too big, two, and reach back. Don't move your hip or shoulder. And one, two, careful reach, not too far. And exhale, exhale. Now notice how my little foot is only about 10 inches off the mat or the floor. Okay, we don't want it up here. And back. Let's do one more. One more. And back. Bring those legs together. Place your hand in front. This is really oblique work too. So we're going to take your legs up and down. Use your hand. Lift. Carry it down. Lift. So we only want the legs to come up about 10 inches, Constance. Keep them lateral. When you lift them high, you, te you tend to be using your front of your belly. And we're working into the outer obliques, the side of the belly. Let's do three more. Feel it. You okay? I love the smiles. One more. Down we go. Let's straighten out and go on to the tummy then. All right, so we're going to do our diamond press. Keep your feet on the mat. Shoulders down. Flat tummy. Breathe. Exhale. Lift. Two, three, four. Rest. Exhale. Lift. Two, three, four. Lower. And lift. 
two, three, four, and lower, three more. Lift, exhale, two, three, four, and feel that back, and lift, two, three, four, and rest, and lift, two, three, four, down you go. All right, let's take your hands in the small of the back. Similar thing, except we're just gonna point the toes, squeeze the glutes, and pull those hands down far. Inhale, exhale, pull the hands down. Don't look up. Look straight down to the boring mat, as I always say. Elbows out, inhale, do it again. Really pull. This is for all the people who work behind a desk, opening the chest, and down again, which is almost all of us. Exhale, pull, two, three, four, and lower. If it wasn't for Pilates, exhale. I don't know where my body would be. And let's do three more. Pull down. Feel it. Tummy in. Don't let it flop. And two. Pull down. Exhale. Lift. Don't look up. Here we go. One more. And up. Push your palms into the mat. Come on up. Bring your tail all the way down, lengthen forward, lay on your thighs, and rest here. Now, on your next breath out, we're going to come up and round the back on all fours. Inhale, exhale up. All right, here we are, letting your head hang. Now, inhale, bring your bottom down. Now, we're going to lift your tail and your neck. Exhale, lift. Okay. So we're changing the position of the spine. One more set like that. Inhale, come down, stretch. Exhale, pull your tummy in, tuck your tail, and let your head fall forward. Bring the tail down, inhale. Exhale, lift the chin and lift the tail. So you're coming up here. Good, now straighten the back. Get ready. We're going to lift your right hand, left leg. Up, straighten, slightly bending this elbow. Now kick up. Kick and bend. Inhale, kick. Exhale, bend. Don't you feel great? Kick. Exhale. Kick. Exhale. Let's do two more. Reach and curl. And reach and curl. Hand and knee down and stabilize. Get ready for the other side. Left hand, right leg, stretch it away. Lift and crunch. Lift and crunch it down. Lift and curl. Three and curl. Two, curl. Kick it up. One, curl. Hand and knee down. Ooh, let's go to the shell and just make sure your back feels good before we continue. Doing our legs on the other side, you're doing great. We're really getting close to the end. Get a drink if you need to, but you should be able to make it. <sighs> let's roll up. So grateful for this great body that we have. Let's go on the other side. Stabilizing your trunk, putting your head in your hand. Get that over out of the way. All right. Keep your hips still. Don't move those shoulders. Engage both legs. Okay, remember the ballerina on the jewelry box. All right, let's start circling that top leg. Now watch your foot. We're creating more precision and control with our focus, changing the way our body works. Okay, you're going to get more and more balanced and coordinated here. Change direction. Yeah, feel the movement. Think inside your skin. All right, five point up, flex down. Raise, press and resist. Pull the toes to the shins. Really roll that ankle. Push and resist. Great for the runners. Lift, or the walkers, or the joggers. Down, two more. Inhale, exhale, resist. And one, lift, exhale, resist. Now we're kicking, not too far. One, two, reach back, don't move, don't move. Exhale, one, two, upper body doesn't move. That's right. And one, two, inhale, reach and point. Beautiful, very good. 
balance and focus. I love watching people's bodies improve and change as they come. It's my favorite thing about this. And let's do one more. One, two, and back. All right, we got two legs together now. Put your hand in front, work in the obliques. Inhale up, 10 inches only, carry it down. Now you don't have to put your hand in front, but most people should, especially the beginners, to make sure they really get this movement right. And then as your strength improves, then you can take it away. Okay, so you decide whether it's getting too easy for you or not. And two more for eight, carry down. And one, carry down. So you should be feeling it in that top leg, in your obliques a little bit too. Good, let's come on the tummy again. Okay, this time we're gonna do the diamond lift with your knees bent, same way we did in the advanced one. Forehead down, shoulders down, bend your knees. Let's lift, inhale, exhale lift. Two, three, four, feel that, inhale, exhale lift. You're not gonna get up as high, but you're really engaging. And lower, inhale, exhale lift. Two, three, four, three more good ones, inhale, exhale lift. Two, three, four, two. Exhale, lift. Two, three, four, and one. Exhale, lift. Two, three, four, and lower down. One more for the back today. Straight legs come out. Let's make your W shape. Now pull your shoulders up to your ears and then pull them down to find that shoulder placement first and then bring the elbows down about halfway to the torso depending on your proportion of your body. Okay, so you can bring them out, that's right. It's a W. Hold that position for six lifts, inhale. Here we go, raise, two, check your form, three, four, lower, feel it right through the shoulders, inhale. Exhale, lift, two, pull the shoulders down, grow the neck, four, changing your body. Number three, exhale, lift, two, three, four, three more good ones. Breathe out, carry the body up with your breath. Three, four, two, exhale, two, two, three, four, and one. Exhale, one, two, three, four, and rest you go. Push your palms into your mat and come up into your shell stretch. And we're going to begin to relax here. We're going to begin to shift into release mode of the muscles at this point. So as you're in your shell stretch, you're going to feel your breath. You're going to feel your lungs expand into your lower ribs and into the belly as you breathe out through the nose and feel your heart rate come down. Feel the, the blood flow pulsing through all the parts of the body right into your hands and feet. Wonderful. Now from here you're going to slowly roll up. And we're going to just sit with crossed legs, real gentle, just like you're on the beach. And let's imagine that now, like that we're just in the sunshine, looking up at the beautiful sky and you're feeling great. Now you feel that tall posture, you feel proud and strong, lifted here. We're just going to do some simple head turns, keeping the shoulders down and the chest lifted. Let's rotate the skull over to the left. Just keep it turning until you feel it. Keep the shoulders down, breathe in, exhale, stay. Even smile or grin, that's good. It makes you happier. Breathe in, tuck the chin, roll looking down across the chest, just like the letter U, and over to the other side. So you're not turning the shoulders, you're just feeling that pressure as you stay tall and turn to the right. We're gonna tuck and roll one more set. Breathe first, tuck and roll. Grow the back of the neck as you roll, slowly across. Look up, 
shoulders are square, You're not allowing them to turn. Looking up. Breathe here. Exhale, tuck one more time. Grow the back of the neck. And bring your excellent face forward. Take yourself to the side, just like that uh, mermaid seated position. We're going to make sure we take really good care of our obliques. Lifting the outside arm, same arm as legs. Reach over, come all the way down and just feel that. Grow long. Imagine someone's pulling your arm. Feels like you're yawning, right? Nice stretch. Now we're going to twist. Breathe in. Turn the hand forward, exhale. Turn the elbow forward, turn the shoulder forward. Ooh, feels good. All the way down into the low back. Breathe out. Roll back to the side, stretch right where you were. And then we're just going to come up and do the other side. So you're really feeling how wonderful the body is. It just feels great, doesn't it? Arm up, inhale, and take it over. Just feel yourself go all the way down. Just reach, keep that reach like you're yawning. <sighs> Begin to bless the day or the evening whenever we're doing this. We're gonna leave at peace and walk into the day or the evening feeling great. Let's add that twist. Twist the wrist, the elbow, the shoulder, exhaling, turn and stay. Roll back, lift up, and voila, 